All right, coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight division fight. well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop him. He just has to keep him away, because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him. And eventually, you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts body. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. All right, now our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight scrap. But I sh is 10 years his senior. The reach is the same. We sent it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, five losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. So And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 23 wins, nine losses, and one draw. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Tom's River, New Jersey, Marlon Magic Marais. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Check the high kick. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Oh, working hard here against the fence. We'll see if he can get the takedown. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. 
Just over two minutes now to go. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside legs. And they separate. Big leg kick land. Unbelievable. Well, he's up, but he is hoping for certain the finish could come at any time. Big knee to the body. Well, you know about the offense, but how about the defense? Overhand blocked by Marais. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. A strong hook lands. So there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we are, early round two. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. He got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Well, he is... Oh. perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going south in this contest at one minute, 56 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations. 